This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are examining the question, how does writing as a form of language technology represent language? We're looking at various writing systems. In this video, we're looking at the Brahmic writing systems found in the Indian subcontinent. Let's explore the question, how does Brahmic writing encode language? Our learning objective is to identify what linguistic information is encoded in the Brahmic writing systems. The Brahmic writing systems are Abu Gidas. What does that mean? The Brahmic writing systems are Abu Gidas. An Abu Gida is a phonographic writing system in which each symbol represents a consonant and each symbol is associated with an inherent vowel. In an Abu Gida, diacritics are used to mark non-inherent vowels. We'll look at an example of what that means in a few slides. Another term that you may hear, this term is used in our textbook in chapter 3, is an alpha syllabary. The concept of an Abu Gida is very closely related to an alpha syllabary, and the Brahmic systems can be correctly described as Abu Gidas and as alpha syllabaries. In an alpha syllabary, vowels and consonants are explicitly represented. This is similar to an alphabet. But unlike in an alphabet, in an alpha syllabary, the consonant symbol and the vowel diacritic combine into a single joint symbol where the joint symbol represents a syllable. This is the syllabary aspect. From the ancient Phoenician writing system was developed the Aramaic writing system. From Aramaic came the Brahmic writing systems. We see that history shown here in our chart of development of writing system types. Now, the Phoenician and Aramaic systems were objects. Brahmic writing, on the other hand, are Abu Gidas. And so, in the development, the move from an objad to an Abu Gida, was this innovation to mark vowels explicitly. An Abu Gida is a phonographic writing system that couples consonants with vowels. Let's look at the Brahmic Abu Gidas. These charts are taken from Wikipedia. In our first column, we have the Phoenician writing system, which is an objad. So each of these Phoenician symbols represents a consonant in the Phoenician language. From Phoenician was developed Aramaic. Aramaic is also an objad. So each of these symbols represents a consonant. The Brahmic symbols were developed from the Aramaic symbols, and you can see the relationship between many of these symbols. Each Brahmic symbol is associated with a consonant and an inherent vowel, here a short A sound. Note that the first symbol lacks a consonant and it represents just a vowel. 
let's look more closely at a fuller chart of the symbols in the Brahmic Abu Gita. Each of these symbols represents the combination of a consonant with a vowel. In the first row, each symbol has an inherent vowel, namely the short A sound. Each column header represents the, col represents the consonant at the beginning of the syllable. So the symbol represents the consonant that you see in the header combined with the vowel that you see on the row. The subsequent rows all have diacritics. So we're going to see a change, a very slight change, from the first row to the second row. And that change is going to be a horizontal diacritic at the top of each symbol. This symbol is used to mark a vowel. In the second row, the marked vowel is a long A sound. Here is a chart of diacritic symbols for Brahmic. This short horizontal line marks a long A. Let's look at a couple more rows. Here, the marked vowel is a short I. And the diacritic is a horizontal line with a vertical. In the next row, the marked vowel is a long I. The diacritic in this row is a horizontal with two verticals. Let's review. How does the Brahmic writing systems encode language? The Brahmic writing systems are Abu Gidas. That means that each symbol in this phonographic writing system represents a consonant with an inherent vowel. That's the first row that we saw in our chart. The subsequent rows are created through the use of diacritic symbols used to mark non-inherent vowels. The concept of an Abu Gita is closely related to that of an alpha syllabary, and indeed, in Chapter 3 of the textbook Language, Technology, and Society, in the discussion of the Brahmic writing system, our author, Richard Sprout, Uses the, con uses the term alpha syllabary. In an alpha syllabary, vowels and consonants are explicitly represented, like they are in an alphabet. But unlike in an alphabet, the consonant symbol is combined with a vowel diacritic, and this combined symbol jointly represents a syllable.